Where are we going, Dad? We're going to Salmon, Idaho. We're going to Salmon. This, what are we going to do? We're going to kill a monster mule deer. Monster mule deer? <laughs> what the hell are we going to do that for? Because we can. Oh. We have a tag and it's allowed. We have a tag and it's legal. <laughs> Having a bit of deja vu because we uh, just did this like a month ago, but we're going back. <laughs> Three, three, three juveniles and two does. And there's one further down and some other doe. There's four little ones now. It is October 12th. Put our class in today. Came up here yesterday in the same spot. We saw about a dozen does with their fawns and three bears, a sow and her two cubs, and came back to this spot today. And they are in the exact same spot as they were yesterday. They're not moving. So we're gonna watch them for a little bit and see if see if any boys come say hi. <laughs> The road doesn't go no further. <laughs> the road doesn't go no further. We're at the end of the road. Yeah. The road's end. Yeah. Three twenty-eight AM. One eternity later. It is October 12th. Uh, no, no it's not. 14th. Right, 14th. Uh, went to a new area this morning and we got caught in a pretty decent snowstorm. Uh, it's gone now. It's beautiful. So, we haven't seen anything for a few days anywhere. Um, I think they know when it's hunting season. I think they get like a company email that just gets sent out and everyone's just like, okay, we're leaving. <laughs> but uh, saw a moose yesterday, so that was cool. And some pronghorns, but there are no bucks anywhere. <laughs> 
But last night, outside of our Airbnb, we saw three bucks pushing a doe, which is the first rut activity we've seen. So that's promising. So uh, we're going to keep looking around. We've gone about 60 miles a day and we'll see what happens. I just assumed it was four cups. I mean, mine might have been different than I just... It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. What is up guys? We are home now. It's about a week later and we couldn't get it done for my pop on this trip. We just, uh, the bucks just weren't there. We traveled probably over 450 miles in our Go Devil, just hours of glassing and sitting and driving and not seeing anything. So uh, there's a lot of work to be done at home. So we decided to come home a little bit early. We still hunted for almost two weeks but uh, it was still successful. I mean, we had so much fun and uh, good memories made with my pop, so that's what's important. Actually, the uh, night we drove home, I think we actually figured out what was going on. As we were driving out of Salmon, we left at about one o'clock in the morning and we saw six, I mean, nice shooter bucks, probably between Salmon and like 10 miles out of town. And they were all right next to the road and my dad and I were just like, are you serious? So that's what happened. They uh, started feeding at night. It was a full moon for most of the time we were there, so that kind of explains it. I guess you could say that we still came home with some animals. Uh, we brought home my elk that I've been waiting to come home for three years now, so I'm super excited. And also my dad's mountain lion, which he got the same year I got my elk, uh, is ready too. So we unboxed those as soon as we got home. Shout out to our taxidermist. Daniel with um, River of No Return Taxidermy out of Lemhi. He did an amazing job. I'm so happy to have him back. Yeah, those are home, which is super exciting. And uh, Widow is home. <laughs> Finally, I've been without her for a little bit. So it's good to have her back. As you can see, her, uh, her legs have been uh, amputated <laughs> for now. Um, she's just, we're keeping her on jacks right now. She's not running very good. Please, for the love of God, drive safely. Well, it's his first car. It's supposed to be like that. It's not good. It's not. She's not sounding like she should. So um, you can expect some videos in the future of my pop and I just kind of working on her and seeing what we can do to kind of get her to act right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish I could have made it a little bit more interesting for you guys on future hunts. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more action and I'll be able to capture some more interesting things uh, for you guys to see. So uh, yeah, that's what you can expect from me in the future is more videos of this wonderful thing and uh, more hunts here at home if we happen to go on those. So uh, I hope you guys are having a great hunting season yourself. Hope you guys are doing great. And as always, peace out. See you in the next one.